here and welcome back to my channel MWD and strategies and in this video I will show you how you can create your bottom end animation and advanced prototyping in Figma so watch this video till the end and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please go and subscribe so let's get started with this tutorial first what we have to do is to create we have to duplicate this tab so already have created this design uh, bottom bar uh, design here so let me just create duplicate it outside and now what you have to do you don't have to create uh, three or four screens for you know creating this bottom bar animation what you have to do is to just create a component and then we, how you can link these bottom bars inside the component so what we have to do first of all we have to create a component so once you create a component like this you can click on the property on the right hand side and you can cre cre click on the variant once you click on the variant what we have to do is create a new variant like this and then we have to adjust these sizes according to the tabs like we have to show the play in the center one right so what we have to do we have to adjust it very carefully in the middle position right and same for this uh, same for this third dot like this so make sure that your uh, position of this door should be equal always because uh, only then it will be look good right and it should be uh, always on the right position right and then what you have to do you can you can drag this uh, you can first of all delete this play icon and then you can drag this uh, forward in the center right right once you create uh, have this in center we have to do what we have to do we have to change the color here so i already have this color so uh, let me just gonna pick up the colors here from this uh, circles right and also you can change the icon accordingly so let me just change the icon okay so you can just have this icon for this one and you can also change the drop shadow according to this one right so you can change the drop shadow like this and then you can also change the border strokes you can change the stroke from here so already have this uh, fine stroke so let me just pick up from here from the color picker right and then we have to create another uh, variant and then once you create the variant we have to again do the same process again you can drag your corners uh, dot like this same for the bottom one and same for the left one right so once you create your you can create it like this now we have to adjust it very carefully again so that this will look good okay so once you adjust it like this what we have to do we have to delete this icon from the bottom uh, profile one right so let, let's just delete the icon and then you can drag this your circle your main circle like this and once you drag it like this what we have to do is we have to copy this icon so we have this icon here so let me just copy from here and let me just paste it here on this circle right so once i paste it once you paste all your icons here what we have to do we have to do now we have to create a prototyping effectively so you can go to the prototype section and what we have to do i'm just gonna create a prototype for this and for prototyping how you can do the prototyping you can click on this play and you can uh, uh, link this to the bottom center one right and you can also adjust the properties like you can uh, make the settings like smart animation and this should be slow or you can change it according to your requirement like gentle quick bounce and custom right so let me just for now i'm, go I'm gonna uh, add slow one and the speed mile second should be thousand so once you do this let me just do it for all so you can do it for profile and then all the settings should be the same and then you can create the same setting for all these and let me just get the icon from my previous file so let me just get the icon from here and then i'm gonna paste it here in our actual design right so once you paste your icon we have to make it center so that this will look good right <coughs> okay so once you paste it here and you can adjust your icons like this okay like this once you've done all the settings we have to also change this uh, color to red one which is this one so let me just change it quickly and show you how the animation gonna work so you can also change the uh, drop shadow accordingly like this should be pink and then the stroke should be according to the according to this right so this should be light and this should be dark okay so once you've done all these settings what you have to do we have to create we have to uh, click on the first one first component and then you should first of all make sure that all the uh, linking should be done effectively so let me just link all this quickly and show you how the prototyping gonna work 
so you can just link this quickly like this and the play button last one like this okay so once you've done all the settings you can just click on this first uh, first component and you can copy this and then uh, you have to create a new screen and then paste it here so once you paste it here or in your mobile app you can now play this from clicking on the shift and space once you click on the shift and space and now you can see the prototyping gonna work like this so this prototyping will be working like this if you do according to the uh, according to what i have just explained you okay so make all the settings all the prototyping settings and design like this only then you will be able to achieve all the things which i have just showed you so you don't have to create extra screen for this you don't have to create any extra thing here because only this will happen only with one screen and this component this component which i have just created and you can also make the settings like this right so that's how you can create the bottom bar animation in figma so if you really like the video please hit the thumbs up also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go and subscribe to never miss any new video like this so thank you thank you so much for watching this video bye